Boy, 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 tell me it isn't so. We out here getting original black characters and people still complaining. Can I get up? Listen, we just get we just got word that Donald Glover will be playing the Hypno Hustler. I know. A lot of y'all who don't follow comics, y'all like, where is this happening? But how come he can't be the prowler? This makes no sense. <sighs> Listen, I get it. He was um, Aaron Davis in the Spider-Man flicks. But guess what? That's what we casted this for. And no, this doesn't have anything to do with recast the child. I think this is awesome. You know, Sony bought the, the movie rights to Spider-Man and his entire lore. And they're actually using the characters that they spent their money on. So a lot of people are, are crying and complaining because this is not a popular character. But this is one of Spider-Man's first black villains ever. If not the first uh, black villain he ever fought. The cool thing about this casting is that Donald Glover can sing and he might even know how to play a couple instruments or two. If you go back and check out the lore, it's basically just him playing a guitar with three mercy killers that are basically hypnotizing the audience while he goes out and he robs them blind. So I'm not, I'm not sure how they're gonna make this work, but I ain't got nothing else to do, so I'm gonna go and check it out. Now, as far as comic heads, the ones that actually buy the comics and read the comics, yeah, this book is blowing up. Check this out. Who would've thunk, who would've thunk that these, this book would have been doing these kind of numbers, man. Are you kidding me? I'm not sure when this movie is coming out, but I'm all in. Donald Glover is a, is a great artist, period. We all know the type of work he's done on Atlanta. He was poorly underused in freaking uh, the Spider-Man movies. So yeah, I mean, that's cool, man. Recast the Prowler as anybody else, but you got you, I think you got yourself a winner here, Sony. And also, let's look at the track record. Up until now, I mean, Sony's made some pretty solid bank looking into the, you know, basically the Venom movie, the Spider-Man movies. Like, they've made their bank. Like, they got Craven the Hunter coming out. If that does well, then they're going to keep rolling out these characters. They're not going to give them back to Marvel anytime soon. But listen, if you don't do nothing else, if you're, in a, if you're in a local comic book shop, if you just happen to be someplace you see a stack of comics, go and check out Spectacular Spider-Man number 24 number 24 from the first volume that book is averaging anywhere between 70 to 100 dollars as a matter of fact a raw one went for 202 dollars around 200 dollars like the other day man so like it had over 30 bids like that's crazy for a character that nobody saw coming and nobody cares about but this is what makes movies great taking a tree and making them popular taking a raccoon and making them popular and now taking a crazy musician making him a great supervillain in a standalone movie.